So anyway, so uh, coming out for Living Legends of Aviation and checking on the A26. There, it's not been a front burner project. I remember two years ago they said, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, when you come out next time, it's gonna be taxiable or running. <laughs> that was two years ago. Anyway, so here we are. So what's Cameron. happening? We're in the process of getting ready to run the engine. Oh, freaking awesome. Oh my God, good. I tell you what, if you do, have y'all got a chance, you know, we can, yeah, we, we got a make GoPro you a video. or something? Thank you. We will awesome. make you a video and send it to you, and you can put it on the... And I will make you a star. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so Kermit Weeks here at Fantasy of Flight, and I've got a bit of an update on our Douglas A26 Invader. Um, it's been a long restoration process, actually 28 years so far, if you can believe it. But we've recently hit a uh, milestone that I think you'll appreciate. This airplane actually flew 30 missions out of France during World War II with the 9th Air Force under the 409th Bomb Group with the 643rd Bomb Squadron. It also later served during the Korean War. Yeah, eventually it found its way to the California Air National Guard and thank God was saved from the scrappers when a Hollywood director acquired the aircraft to be a star in an epic war film. A glass nose was put on it with, along with the nose art uh, Whistler's mother. Unfortunately, the movie never materialized. But fortunately, the aircraft was eventually acquired by the American Aeronautical Foundation, begun by Ed Schneff, who was the owner of Challenge Publications that still offers the Air Classics magazine today. I purchased the airplane in 1985 and flew it back to the Weeks Air Museum in Miami, hitting a few air shows before and after my trip back. It was damaged by Hurricane Andrew in 1992, but fortunately not as bad as some of my other airplanes. Aerotrader, who did my B-25, and we took it up to Oshkosh one year and got reserve grand champion, they were chosen for the repair and restoration. The airplane was already very original, but it's being restored to an even higher degree of authenticity. When completed, there will never be an A-26 that will compare with this one. The engines were overhauled years ago by Jeff Blakey, and it now seems we've hit a milestone in the restoration process. So let's go check it out. years it's been since this thing has started, but it's time to start. So uh, we're going to give it a whirl here. You can put this on your Kermie cam.
Now, I don't know about you, but I think the coolest milestone in any aircraft restoration process is when it comes alive and the engines start to run. Anyway, so we've crossed that threshold. So really, so what's next? The, uh, they still need to finish up the six-gun nose, which is obviously off when they were running it. Uh, it does have all its guns installed now, but there's a few ejection chutes that uh, need some work, as well as some wiring of the firing solenoids and stuff. Um, the guns, of course, are aluminum. They're not, they're not real guns, uh, but they, they look real. Um, the carburetor scoops have uh, since been installed, and they're sorting out some exhaust stack interferences with some carb heat linkages. The remote turrets in the back will all be operational, uh, but they still need a little bit of work sorting out a few issues. We need to install the minimum radio equipment, uh, paint the airplane up in its World War II colors, uh, which overall was all of drab, which will be kind of a unique uh, airplane because there's not an A-26 out there that's been painted that way. And since we've not been able to find any original group-specific nose art, I'm going to come up with some on my own, so stay tuned. Yeah, so with any luck, uh, we should have the airplane flying by this winter, and uh, the plan is to basically have the uh, public debut at, at Oshkosh 2021. That basically gives me a year to figure out where I'm going to put it. I wish you had my problems. Kermit Cam, over and out.